we need to work some ground for you. Um, so yeah, starting off the Anime Heroes launch, we have really the same thing up. We have three characters each, but this is something that we see being a huge line that will continue to grow. Um, we're going to launch more characters in different ways. Um, it'll grow to be a larger Anime Heroes line in general. Uh, but starting with these two, one thing that we're really proud of is the level of detail and there's 16 points for articulation in these figures so really great for putting them in dynamic poses as you can see here even with our packaging uh, we know that naruto's primary color is orange and that saint seiya is blue so we really wanted to make sure everything down to the artwork and you'll notice we have the uh, novels here as well because it all stems from that japanese art so everything from the colors the brush strokes even the edge almost looks like a bubble Right? So we really put a lot of detail and thought. We know collectors are going to want to keep it in package as well as get one to unbox. So just the level of detail that we can have to put in there was super important to us. Nice. And these will be How much is it going for? Um, they'll be probably around 14 or 19.99, and these will be spring. You may see Naruto hit select retailers like we were earlier. Uh, we have everything from 5 inch figures, 6.5 inch figures to 12 and 13. And again, 16 points of articulation. If you go close and look at the level of detail in the faces and the characters, we've done it so similar and close to the animation. One thing we're also proud of too is even when we started to do the 12 inch figures, Broly was not to scale. We know he's bigger than the rest, so we actually bumped up and had to do a 13 inch scale because to us it's really important to be true to form and true scale. So these are the type of details that we take into consideration rather than just doing a flat uh, figure. Even you'll see in some of our six and a half inch figures, they needed to be a little bit smaller because of the animation. Keeping that authenticity to us is super, super important. Most of everything you see here. Here is available at uh, retail at our shop right now. Final blast, we will uh, have the top one um, some other just came out, so we're already going to go back. We have another wave. You know, every few months we do another wave, release, a new character, something like that. So the line is just continuing to grow. Um, a recent launch is the Final Blast series at the end there. Um, the figure there. Um, there's one. So, with the addition, I don't know if you can see from this angle, but there's a lot of the as we grow the line, you can actually attach them, and then they'll all be able to be attached. So just thinking about not right now, but again, six months from now, we're going to do that, and making sure that that innovation is in what we're launching today. With that being said, the city prepared all the dragons. One thing I'm super excited about is in the middle there, that diorama that you see, that'll actually be available for fall 2020 at retail. It'll be $29.99. Um, right now, it's just kind of a prototype, but it will be interactive. So there'll be different event things that you can kind of push up or down. So that will be true to the animation. Um, we have a free launch with that. The line came out in 2019. But we're continuing to get new licenses and grow the line. So a lot of people sometimes think, you know, Action vinyl figures, are they for me? Yeah, because we have everything from Hot Wheels to Game of Thrones to Aliens to WWE to Nickelodeon to, you know, Bob's Burgers and Family Guy and Ghostbusters. So there's a huge breadth of the line. So there's really something no matter gender, interest range, uh, there's something that everyone kind of remembers. Like, you know, the Lazy Egg. Oh, okay. Yeah, so something that everyone kind of remembers and has a soft, yeah. soft spot for them. Those ones are playing definitely. So there's, this is just a small little portion. We have over 40 licenses, which means there's over 100 characters. So yeah, if something you see here, this doesn't mean it's everything. There's a lot more to the line. So on uh, the Loyal Subject site, you'll see the whole breadth of, of what's available. These are the grits cool. I'm like, how much are they, are they released? These ones which ones? Yes. Yeah. Those are released? Yeah. Oh, how much did they retail? Oh, yeah, like, um, I think $14.99 is the price. Yeah. yeah. Jump on there.
That's because the play pattern in the puzzle is the Rubik's Cube puzzle. So instead of trying to figure out the color combo to match all the blues together, you're actually trying to figure it out so you can connect and put your character back together. Oh. So there we've got his top head back together, oh, wow. right? Cool. Oh, but that's not right with the bottom part there. These yeah, two yeah, should line up. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, it's a fine line between trying to finesse this um, using the Rubik's Cube kind of algorithm, but for your character. Right. So, oh, and I did, yeah, yeah, so even just the way you're, oh, I don't have it fully connected there, uh, twisting and turning it um, is that Rubik's Cube puzzle and algorithm. $19.99, we started pre-sale for it at the end of January. Mm -hmm. It'll hit retail mid-March. There's a yellow one and a black one, and play pattern is very similar to the original in that you raise and nurture your Tamagotchi device, but if ghosts or bugs invade the screen, Pac-Man will be there to save the day. Uh, the two games in here are Pac-Man games, and of course the food is cherry. The one for $19.99. The one you see there with the case, that is the deluxe. It'll look like this, and that's $24.99. So it has the Pac-Man casing put over your Tamagotchi device.